We're going to be talking about recycling the same money over and over and over and over. Dave from California, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. As always, I'm your host, James Wise, and uh, I'm coming to you off-site today. I'm coming to you from my home office. Uh, my wife and I just recently had our second child, so I'm spending some time working from home, uh, you know, working uh, with the family, you know, handling the family stuff. But uh, the cool thing about real estate investing and what we do here at Holton Wise is it allows me to be able to be here, be present, be home with my family, but also still earn income uh, for my family and uh, you know, work with you investors, right? This is very much a work from wherever, you know, you want to work from type of business, right? And that's, that's really what you guys are all looking for, right? That's why you come to Holton Wise. It's why you get into real estate investing, right? It's the financial freedom, right? Everyone's talking about financial freedom. Now, uh, I'm assuming this is what people are not talking about because this is definitely not what I'm talking about. But like when people talk about financial freedom, that doesn't mean you buy like 10 rental properties and then you never do another thing. Uh, you never work another day in your life. You don't do anything like that. That's not what I'm saying, guys. What I'm saying is you buy those rental properties, you start this real estate business, and then you have the financial freedom uh, to work on your own terms. Work when it's appropriate for your family. Work from where is appropriate uh, for your family, which is what I'm doing, which is what uh, real estate has allowed me to do. And that's what I'm trying to make happen for you guys, right? And uh, today's show, it's for an investor from California. His name is Dave. Dave, what's up, brother? You are a teacher, okay? Uh, you are a teacher out there in Cali, and you're trying to uh, build some some cash flow rentals here in the Cleveland market. You're working with $100,000, okay? And your goal is to get in and get out of these deals with as little of that $100,000 as humanly possible, right? That makes sense, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to try to recycle that money over and over and over again, right? Because here's the deal. If you have $100,000 and you just wanted to buy real estate with it, we can essentially quadruple that from a conventional or traditional standpoint, right? I could easily get you in to $400,000 worth of real estate, right? Each of those properties, say we did like four properties, right? You'd put down 25,000 on each and I'd get you a loan for 75,000. But then that's it, right? That's it, you're done, right? So that's not gonna get you financial freedom, right? You're still gonna have to teach, not saying you necessarily uh, are, are trying to jump out of teaching or anything of that nature, but it's not going to give you the freedom and the flexibility to make changes or, or to work from home or to, you know, just really increase your income if that's what you wanted to do, right? So four wouldn't be enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to recycle that money over and over and over. And we're going to do that by utilizing the Burr strategy. Buy. You buy a home, a home that needs rehab. Rehab. You rehab the home that needs rehab rent, right? You put a tenant in there to pay us rent. That's the whole gig. Refinance, right? Essentially, the goal is to buy it when it needs rehab, then you do the rehab. And then the goal is to get the property to appraise for more money than the acquisition, the buying price and that rehab. And then when you're done with it all, you repeat the process over and over again, right? That's how we're able to take that, um, hundred thousand dollars and stretch it further than four properties in the house that i've got for you today that i think that'll work great for 615 bond street elyria 44035 listed uh almost three weeks ago by an agent out of a century 21 office for fifty eight thousand dollars now this particular property as you can see is a big old colonial and it it needs some love right now, what I see in here is I see some halfway decent looking hardwoods, uh, and we don't appear to have anything like majorly destroyed in the living room. Just going to need some paint, probably buff the hardwoods. Uh, looks like we got some issues on this particular ceiling in this photo here. 
with the stairs, you can see the stairs, you know, you got some chipping and some issues there, but definitely look at the discoloration on that ceiling. I can't really tell uh, from this photo if that is discoloration due to a leak, some water damage, or if that is discoloration due to like tar from like a long time smoker, right? Like the walls, they got this like very rich blue color. So uh, you wouldn't see any yellowing there, but uh, it's hard to tell, but that's something the inspector and my team will figure out for us. Uh, over here, this is the important picture though, right? This is super important. You got the kitchen, right? This is just a super old kitchen. Uh, probably hasn't been updated in like 40 years, right? That's not gonna work, right? We're gonna have to, to update this kitchen to, to get this property to do what we want, right? And then just uh, more of the same, just outdated stuff that needs love, like this bathroom. Like you got some vinyl linoleum type flooring from like the 80s, that's not gonna fly. We gotta make sure we get a shower head installed on that clawfoot tub. Obviously new vanity fixtures, all of that jazz. They even got like a partially finished uh, third floor there, not a legal bedroom, but could definitely be some good bonus space for tenants to really like. Like I see on the floor there, you got the outlets on the floor. So some electrical is going to need to take place, right? Some electrical work. And then um, just so you know, right? See this picture right here uh, with the where the driveway would normally be. You see it's like a gravel driveway, which is overgrown with grass. Uh, one thing I want to make clear, right? M make sure we get this out there, right? This is Elyria, okay? This is far west, right? Uh, Cleveland, which is uh, the market, right? That's the major market that you guys come to us for. Cleveland is located in Cuyahoga County. Elyria is the county to the west of Cuyahoga County. We will manage anything in Cuyahoga County as well as anything that touches Cuyahoga County. So this is like a little bit more of a rural area. So you see a lot of gravel driveways, uh, gravel driveways and, and stuff like this. So don't think that you have to put in a brand new driveway. Uh, this area does not have the crazy point of sale regulations uh, that some of the eastern suburbs in the closer to Cleveland have, right? So this particular uh, city and neighborhood and stuff, this is totally par for the course. So I just wanted to make sure I got that out of there. Cause like if we were doing a home in Garfield Heights uh, or like uh, Euclid or something like that, this would not fly. But over here in Elyria, it would fly. So there's going to be, you know, pros and cons to Elyria, right? I like Elyria because it's very landlord friendly. The taxes are much lower. It's in Lorain County. Uh, and, you know, we don't have to deal with this stringent building codes uh, and like really just ticky tack stuff and the point of sale stuff. Right? Those are all the pros. One con for real estate investors is it's a little bit further uh, from our home base here. So any of the counties that we manage in that are not Cuyahoga County, if they touch Cuyahoga County, we will do the work, uh, but we do need to charge an additional surcharge every time we send a technician out to your home. Anytime a Holton Wise team member is at your home physically, there is an additional surcharge because, hey, uh, it's much longer drive time. I got to send the trucks out there. I got to pay for the gas. You know the deal. Uh, so we are all about transparency. Uh, so if you go to HoltonWise.com, click the property management FAC. Our property management agreement is there for your download. Uh, all the pricing, all the surcharges, anything that we're ever going to charge you for is going to be listed in there. So I just want to make sure I get that out of there. Now, you should know that the surcharges, they're teeny, and it's totally going to be a wash based upon the fact that the tax rate is already lower in Lorain County, lower in Elyria than the Cleveland stuff. So that, that'll be a wash, and then you get the benefit of uh, you know, the very landlord friendly courts and stuff, right? So I just want to make sure we're as transparent as humanly possible. Uh, so that is where we're at with that. So what do we need to do? What are we going to get? What are we going to pay, right? 58,000, okay? Cannot have you pay 58,000, Dave. You can't pay 58. Deal won't make no damn sense at 58. What I want you to do is I want you to pay 40. You're coming in with a bird deal here, right? So you're all cash, right? And this house is booty, dude. It's, it's not looking great. Uh, so, you know, hopefully we don't have as much competition and we could actually get this down because that's an aggressive price. It's $18,000 off the list price, but man, I, 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 you can't pay 58, right? 40 is the number. Uh, you could probably pay 45 and it still makes some sense, but about 40 is really the sweet spot where you need to be, right? If you have to overpay, it's time for us to just move on to another deal, right? There's always more fish in the sea, but 40 is where it makes sense. Then I want you to spend $25,000 renovating, right? We just went through all the photos. Uh, we're going to do basic stuff in there, right? All the walls, I got to get uh, patched, repainted, right? There's probably dings and nicks and holes. You didn't see a lot of it in the pictures, but I'm sure it's there. Uh, you know, 
that's what it looks like up close, right? So we're going to paint, do all that jazz, neutral color throughout. We'll go agreeable gray throughout, white trim throughout. Uh, we'll refinish those hardwoods uh, in the kitchen and the bath. We had crappy flooring, so we're going to put new vinyl flooring, new fixtures in the kitchen, new fixtures in the bath. It's going to look good. Doing all of that is probably going to cost approximately $20,000. Then I've got an extra $5,000 for you, right? That additional $5,000 is because I believe some of the big ticket items that we were not given information on, I am guesstimating you're going to have to do at least some of them, right? So the three main big ticket items, we have a roof. This is probably a $5,000 roof. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. We have a furnace, probably mid to end of life, if I had to guess, right? It may need replacing now, may not. Those are going to cost about $3,000. Then we also have a hot water tank that they last about 15 years. Those cost about $1,000. So all told, you could be spending like five or six on the roof, three on the furnace, one on the hot water tank if you had to do everything. I don't think you have to do everything. I'm guessing you probably don't. But again, this is just guesstimation on my part. I'm going to do the numbers assuming you're going to have to do at least $5,000 worth of that stuff, right? It could go as high as 10 if you had to do it all. So we're making this offer contingent on a third-party home inspection, right? So if it turns out you only have to spend about five on that plus the 20 on the cosmetic stuff, our deal is perfect, dude. Our deal makes sense. Buy it for 40, put 25 into it. We have gone and invested a total of 65000 into this. We'll have a tenant paying us a thousand bucks a month in rent, put them on the Section 8 program. Of that, I anticipate you spending about half of it, right? About 492 a month on average operating this thing. So that leaves us with $508 of NOI every month, right? If you're all in for only 65,000, we do that badass $25,000 renovation. This thing should appraise for about 75,000 meaning you're going to recycle that money, get to pull all that money back out, right? You're going to put that 65 in and then the bank's going to let you pull back 56,250, making this a 37.2% return on your investment, right? Recycling all that money. If you just went in and bought a turnkey asset for 75, you have to put much more money into it than what you're left into this deal, only 8,750. Now that's if everything goes great, right? But if on that third-party home inspection, the thing comes back, and it turns out maybe we do need to do all $10,000 of that big ticket stuff. Maybe we got to do a roof, we got to do a furnace, and we got to do a hot water tank. Well, then we're going to go back to the seller. We're going to attempt to renegotiate a further discount, right? Because this deal, it's a beautiful deal. It's a 37% return if you pick it up at 40, if you spend 25. So if you're all in for 65K, this deal is a freaking home run. But if we find out more information during the due diligence process uh, where – it would require us to be all in for more than $65,000. You know, the deal's not so hot. So we have to go back to that seller, renegotiate that price. So like if we found out that all three of those items were bad, what I'd want to do is I want to go back to the seller like, hey, man, uh, we were not aware that we had to do all this. So we'll continue to do the deal. But instead of 40, we need it at 35. What do you want to do? And sometimes the sellers will acquiesce. They'll agree and we'll move forward. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes we'll meet in the middle. And, and then and that's how it goes, right? It's a numbers game, especially when you're doing uh, the bird deals, right? There's nothing special about this house. This house isn't like a unique one-of-a-kind house. What would be great about this house is if we could pick it up for the right price uh, for you, the right investor, at the right time and then do that bird deal. The financing is really what makes this a great deal. Uh, so if uh, when we do our due diligence further with that home inspection, if the numbers work out, awesome, we'll move forward and uh, we'll make some money together. If for whatever reason it doesn't work out, you can't come to terms with that seller. I know you ordered the 10 pack for me, so we'll go back to the drawing board and we'll try to find you another deal that will make sense, right? Because what we don't want to do is get gung-ho about buying these assets, guys, and overpaying, right? There'd be no scenario where I could have Dave go in and buy this for 58000 and then put in $25,000 of rehab and then have it be a profitable deal. That would be a terrible deal. He'd be all into the property for more than it was actually worth, and we do not want to do that, right? It's about getting the right property for the right investor at the right price at the right time with the right financing, guys. Any deal could be a good deal. 
any deal could be a bad deal, right? There's properties just aren't inherently awesome and they're not just inherently horrible, right? What makes them awesome or what makes them horrible is all of those factors, what you paid for it, how the financing worked out, yada, yada. If it fits the particular investor's goals, those things, right? That's what makes our deals good or bad, right? Houses like this, they're a dime a dozen. It's about getting the right deal surrounding the house. So Dave, if you're picking up what I'm putting down and all this makes sense, just reply to the private email we sent this video uh, to you. We'll get that contract written up. Of course, we'll make it contingent on that third-party home inspection. And then based upon the results of that, uh, we'll either move forward, renegotiate, or hit the drawing board again. If for whatever reason you're not feeling this deal as always man just give me some more feedback so when i do hit the drawing board i got more to go off of and i could switch gears and get you something that will better fit your needs everybody else if you're watching the show on holton wise tv and you're not dave i sent this to dave probably a couple months ago uh, you do not have the opportunity to buy this property this deal's long gone i only release these on holton wise tv uh, for free for you guys to learn and educate yourself on the market the industry etc so if you actually want to, to get in the trenches, right, uh, get your feet wet, jump in the pool, start working with Holton Wise to build yourself this passive business where you can do it from anywhere, right? You could be working from home like me. You could be working from California like Dave and still putting together rehabs and renovations and building rental portfolios in this market. What you need to do is go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab, click the MLS search and analysis show order a package, uh, much like Dave did, I recommend you guys get the 10 pack or at least the three or four pack because it's hard to put these deals together, right? They gotta be at the right price. So if you get just one, you know, we don't know if your deal is gonna go through, right? Maybe the seller wants more money than uh, would make sense for you, right? Like if uh, you just wanna make offers based on what the sellers want for properties, you ain't gonna make no damn money, right? <laughs> like if Dave wanted to just buy this property for 58K, that'd make that seller really happy, but it's not gonna make Dave any money, right? So if you guys want to actually have us work for you on your behalf and, and put together really profitable deals, it's gonna take time. There's gonna be deals that don't go through. So the multi-pack uh, is the way to go because we could uh, put out a bunch of offers, do a lot of analysis for you, put in the necessary time and resources to you uh, to help you build a profitable portfolio, uh, which will ultimately lead you to that financial freedom, guys. And that's what it's all about. So again, holdenwise.com, property search for sale tab, MLS search analysis show, order a package today. That is all I've got for everybody. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way.
U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals. U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.